Hello, everyone. I'm Denise Ann Adams, and welcome to Just One Thought. I'm here today with my step in co host, uh, Paul Kenny, is away on vacation and doing some work, and uh, we're just excited for him. But Prophet Dwayne Sims, thank Amen. you for joining me all thank the you. way from Saskatchewan today. Amen. Um, Amen. Thank you, Apostle Denise. It's wonderful to be here and it's wonderful to be sharing the word. And I know some Amen. of you must be intrigued by the title of, you know, why, why do we do this? And we really have a word today for you. Um, I'm excited. Uh, um, Prophet Dwayne, you have a really amazing story that you would like to share with us. And we're talking actually about evangelism. We have 10 reasons why, why, why we should do this, why we should impact people, mm -hmm. why should we go out and tell the story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. So we're going to get to it. But first, I want to turn it over to you, um, uh, Prophet. I, it's an awesome word that you have today. And so I'm just going to um, take you and put you up there. I want to hear mm. this story. Can you share the story with us today? Amen. Amen. Well, you know that uh, Apostle Denise, the Holy Spirit really leads his people. And uh, we, we're not always aware of just how much he's actually leading us in our daily lives. And as we go about uh, sharing the good news of Jesus with people, and uh, that's on his heart. He really wants uh, the lost to come to Jesus and be saved. And he leads his people and he prompts us. And uh, just a, a brief story I have of, of the prompting of the Lord. And um, I was working uh, one day, uh, traveling around the province, uh, working on the pipeline and I was I was traveling with a, a work uh, partner and in a truck and uh, this was a few, couple of years ago several years ago um, and uh, as we we're driving along uh, we happened to, to start discussing uh, you know we, we happen to start discussing something you know that's that's always the Lord always leads even our conversation with people and directs um, our, our words and our thoughts but we, we started talking about the state of the world. I don't remember what was going on exactly. This was pre-COVID even, so we, we weren't talking about COVID. Um, but we were talking about something as we drove down this uh, gravel road in Saskatchewan. And uh, and he commented on, on the state of the world. And and, uh, and the, the Holy Spirit put this prompting on my heart to simply say to him, uh, yes, but the Lord is returning. The Lord is returning, you know, and we need to be ready. And uh, if we're ready to meet him, you know, he'll make everything new. And uh, I, I held off. I held off for maybe uh, 10 minutes or so. I didn't say it. I didn't say it. And we kept driving along. We kept driving along. And I remember where we were. We came up to a yield sign in rural Saskatchewan. And I was driving, and I, I pulled up to the yield sign. And uh, the, it was so strong within me, this prompting, tell him, Yes, but the Lord is returning. Yes, but the Lord is returning. Yes, but the Lord is returning. It was so strong. And finally, I said, you know, going back to our conversation a few minutes ago, yeah, the world is in a tough situation, a tough state. But you know what? The Lord is returning. And he's going to make everything new. And we need to be ready to meet him. And I simply said that. And there was a pause, just a brief pause. And he said, funny, you should say that. Ha <laughs> ha. Amen. Funny you should say it. And this is a fellow who, who doesn't go to church and knows, knows almost nothing about the Bible. Um, but he said, funny you should say that. Because unbeknownst to me, a mutual friend of ours who is a believer was talking to him on the phone the night before oh. and said that exact same thing to him. That exact same thing. And he said, it, it's funny you should say that, that so-and-so was talking to me last night and he told me the exact same thing. And so then I, I went on and shared some more about how to be ready to meet the Lord and, um, and what the Lord's going to do when he comes back. And um, which, is, which is a vital topic, by the way, the return of the Lord. You know, we could, we could spend Absolutely. many broadcasts on that. But, um, and, and he kept saying, as, as I would say something, he'd say, well, that's what, what the other guy told me last night. That's the same thing he told me last night. Amen. And I, I didn't lead him to the Lord I'm still praying that, that he comes to know the Lord. As, as Paul in the, in the scripture says in, in 1 Corinthians 3, verses 5 through 7, you know that, that uh, one plants the seed of the good news of Jesus. Someone yeah. else might water it. You know, I'm still watering the seed that we planted through prayer, 
through prayer. That's how I'm watering is through prayer and, and, and asking for another opportunity to, to speak to him. Um, one plants, another waters, but God makes it grow. God makes the seed grow. That's right. Amen. So, Amen. so just it, it illustrates the power of the Holy Spirit and that he is leading us in this, that we are not doing this on our own. We're not alone in this. Uh, this is the Holy Spirit steering us into the lives of people as we intersect with people in, in their lives and in our lives. They, they're there for a reason, and we're in their lives for a reason, and he will guide us. He will prompt us. The Spirit of God will prompt us with what to say, and we'd be amazed, amazed, as I was amazed that day when he said, funny, you should say that. Funny, it's wonderful. That. It's Amen. so wonderful how God does that. What I love about him is, is you there's this compelling that happens it comes mm -hmm. into our heart that we just need to share something we just need we to, got to, we to, have give, to, yeah. to give a word yeah. to somebody and it, it's it, we don't think it's much no and very often um as you know i'm a, a ministry coach i uh, help ministries with their um growing them and helping different people and oftentimes in the middle of um our, our time together, what will happen is they'll, uh, they'll say that same thing. Mm. Funny, you should yeah. say that. Yeah. And and I want to encourage all of our listeners today that God's going to use you the same way. He wants Amen. to. And Amen. all you have to do is be obedient to Amen. do that. Amen. Amen. Glory Amen. to God. I love that story because we, we do need to be prepared. We do need to mm -hmm. be ready. Amen. 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 I, I love, you know, we have 10 reasons and uh, let's start with our first reason. That was a great story to, to know that God's going to use us all. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Well, in, in uh, number one, I love this one. This is the one that follows me. I mean, mm. I hope this word really follows our listeners that they grab a hold of this and they're like, oh my gosh, this word is following me everywhere mm. I go. And it's in Mark 16. Uh, verse 15, amen, what amen. Jesus said for us to do. And um, uh, Jesus said so. He said to us, he said, you go, you go, and you go win the lost. You go, people, mm. believers, in my name will do this. And I just want to go to that scripture. I'm I'm just looking it up here. I, I, I let, I'll let you lead into that thought. Oh, yeah, Jesus said so. And I mean, you know, sometimes it's scary, uh, but we need to obey. And it was scary for me to say to this guy in this truck out randomly, the Lord is returning. Um, yes, the world is in a tough state, but the Lord is returning. It was scary to do that. Um, you know, but you, when you obey, the Holy Spirit comes through. Uh, Amen. Absolutely. And I love this because in Mark 16, verse 15, this is Jesus talking. This yeah. is the red letter part. He says, go into all the world and proclaim the gospel to the whole creation, mm -hmm. the whole creation, all of what God has created, all of man and Amen. woman worldwide. Whoever believes and is baptized will be saved. Amen. But whoever does not believe will be condemned. That's scary. Mm -hmm. And these signs will accompany those who believe. In my name, they will cast out demons. They will speak in new tongues. They will pick up serpents and with their hands. And if they drink any deadly poison, it will not hurt them. They will lay their hands on the sick and they will recover. Amen. They will recover. And Amen. what I love about this, this was not like a, gee, uh, it wasn't a suggestion. It wasn't something, it wasn't um, um, uh, a, a a thought, a fleeting thought that mm -hmm. didn't have a consequence. This is what Jesus is saying for us to do as believers. If you really believe on me, if you really believe the word which I've told you, if you believe that what who I am and all I represent is true, then you will do this. Amen. And it's, it it's yeah. just, whew, I don't know if that's a, my wake up call. That word follows me. I've studied it. I look at this word. And it's just amazing. But even more so in verse 19 after that, let's hear the end of the story. And so then the Lord Jesus, after he had spoken to them, was taken up into heaven and sat down at the right Amen. hand of God. Amen. And Amen. they went out mm. and preached everywhere. 
everywhere while the Lord worked with them and confirmed the message with accompanying signs. So, you know, you mm -hmm. go out to win the lost, they're going to get one. They're going to get saved. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And I like, I like what you said. Sometimes you plant, sometimes you water, but all the while it says in the Amplified, God gave the increase. Amen. Whew. Amen. That's wonderful. Hallelujah. I look at that. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Well, let's look at point uh, part number two. It's our part of our divine purpose for being here on earth. Now, that, that really connects to March 16, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. Our purpose. I, our purpose. We each have a divine purpose. And Mark 6, 15 is the Great Commission. That's what it's been called, the mm. Great Commission. You get to, you and I, we get to be a part every every listener out there you and i get to be a part of the great commission the great commission is a great work mm. it's mega it's huge it's mm. enormous this is this is a reason why we're planted on this earth this is why we weren't taken up after we got saved because mm. we have a, a, a jesus has said i this is my job i've given you to do this is you know how they have mission impossible uh, I, I I don't know if you've ever watched Mission Impossible, no. the movies. And uh, in the old ones, it, it was, should you choose to accept this mission? Oh, okay. And, I, and I the, that, the piece yeah. of paper would go, Psht, and it would be gone. There wouldn't be no way, more paper. It would t instantly dissolve. And it was like, should you choose? And that's, we all have the ability to choose. Are we choosing to get involved in our divine purpose mm -hmm. with Jesus for being here on earth and reaching the loss? That's Amen. a good question. Amen. Your thoughts on that? Well, we certainly, uh, every day, I believe we need to say, Lord, here I am. Here I am. Send me. Um, let your purpose unfold in me this day. And our purpose might be for that day, you know, to speak to someone at work as I was sharing the story. But um, Lord, we, we need to really know and realize how much the Lord actually leads us and how much he's actually in control of little things throughout the day. You know, it, the delay in the Tim Hortons drive through or something, we get impatient, but, but the Lord is in charge of little details. And maybe that delay in the Tim Hortons drive through uh, means that, that, that then we'll run into someone. There, there was, there was a homeless guy that sometimes sits uh, near the drive through of the one Tim Hortons near where I live. And, you know, and, and, and that delay in the drive through might give me the chance to then stop and, and talk to this homeless guy. You know, that's Amen. just a, a brief example. Our purpose, there's a purpose in, in my life. There's a purpose in, in why I'm in Saskatchewan. There's a purpose why you're in British Columbia. Uh, there's a purpose why for everything. And, and we need to, to say, Lord, align my life. Align my life this day with your divine purpose for today and, and, in, and in the coming days. Amen. I so agree. I so agree. Um, that alignment, uh, uh, when we, you know, our yes and our amen, our, our choice, our, our, our choice of words, our choice of thoughts, to want to be aligned to God's mm -hmm. purpose is so amazing. We get to choose that. We get Amen. to be a part of God's program. Mm -hmm. and, and, That's exciting. And it's exciting. more than his program, isn't it? It's his mm -hmm. very heartbeat. Mm. for us it's very Amen. heartbeat i look at it and i go this is this is what jesus says you don't know the work i have the work i have to do is to you know is to win souls is is to show uh, miracles signs and wonders to show them the truth that i am god in the flesh and amen. um that was so exciting when he did that amen amen uh, and amen. i look at this in you know um i know this isn't my points but Oh, I've been uh, studying evangelism afresh because some people are afraid of the E word evangelism. Mm -hmm. They hear evangelism and they run the other way because <laughs> they have fear in their heart about being rejected by people. And I look at rejection as uh, like um, um, they say every 10 no's to asking someone about something, mm -hmm. every eight no's there will be two uh, yeses. Well, so, uh, so, but, yeah, that's encouraging odds. it is because anytime yeah. anyone says no that means i'm closer to a yes that means i'm closer yeah. to someone <laughs> yeah, saying yes to jesus and Amen. my job that's a good way is of thinking just of it. 
share the gospel, just share mm -hmm. the good news, and uh, we'll let Jesus do the rest because that's his job. Our job Amen. is to share the word. His job is to do the work, you know. Um, and uh, I was looking at the scriptures and I realized, you know, Jesus said that the laborers are few. Mm -hmm. The laborers are few. Oh, and it breaks my heart. Amen. It breaks my heart that we need more people who and, and uh, to go out there and do it. And it's a labor of love. It isn't, um, there's such joy with it, but I'm getting ahead of myself. I think I'm, mm. I think I'm getting ahead of what we're, we're talking it's, about. It's very but fulfilling. The, it's, it's rewarding. Oh, yeah. Beyond belief. Amen. Yes. Yeah. This, this is, is a, totally, totally. Absolutely. I believe that this is the work we're called to do. Not even angels do that. Can you mm. imagine? I mean, if you've ever seen an angel or felt the presence of an angel of, in a room, it's like, Whoa, God just mm. sent one of us, his, his, uh, people his 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 messengers to us whether it's a warring angel a worship angel healing or or a deliverance or you know whatever uh mm. god sends his angels to help us even in evangelism Amen. oh my my goodness mm. but that's not their job their mm. job is uh our job is to proclaim the gospel mm -hmm. yeah. that's not their job their job is no. to enforce what we say to enforce mm. what we declare, amen, to amen. enforce. And when we say, when we command a de demon to go, Holy Spirit and the angels command this thing mm. to go. When we command sickness to go, the Holy Spirit and angels enforce what mm. God uh, has put in our mouth to say. Amen. And so we mm. have backup. We have a holy backup. We have amazing backup. And so the work we're called to do should be a labor of love. So uh, no sad faces at sharing this good news. Let me tell you, it is. Amen. Amen. Oh, it's awesome. The Bible, Bible says that angels long to look into these things, you know, in the Old Testament yes. days. The things, the, the gospel, the good news of Jesus in, in formerly angels were longing to look into these things. They long mm. for it. And yet here we are with our as children of God with our authority in Christ, who we are in Christ, we can proclaim and and then they get to enforce. So, you know, they're waiting, they're hanging on our our, our words. Oh, um, I like hanging, that. Uh, yeah. The angels are with us hanging on our words and our promptings to obey the Holy Spirit. And then they, and then they get to they get to zoom in and and do their job. Amen. That's exactly that's exactly so when you think about it, that angels hearken to the voice of the word of God. So when we speak the word of God, they listen and they do. Amen. 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 We're uh, there they're to minister to the heirs of salvation, not only to them, but for them. So they're ministering for us, but also on those who will accept Jesus. He's there. Mm -hmm. They're there to enforce that victory. Oh my goodness, we could talk on angels. Oh, I've done man. a series on angels <laughs> actually on YouTube. So you can go there yeah. and uh, put my that, name yeah. in and put angels and you'll find the teaching on that. But I love, no, this is probably my favorite point. It's a uh, part oh, four, number yeah. four. There's a crown whew, of joy, of joy to those, mm. to those who, um, uh, to those who, who share the good news of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. And we see that in the scriptures in uh, 1 Thessalonians 2.19. I'm just going to go there and I'll get you to share on that, um, um, Brother Dwayne. Amen? Amen. Praise God. There's a crown of joy for those who share the gospel. You know, yeah, it's, it's, it, and the, the crown of joy ultimately is in heaven, right? And, and, uh, um, but even in the here and now, you know, there's a crown of joy. There's a joy in sharing the good news of Jesus Christ. There's a joy in seeing God come through. Hallelujah. You know, and speaking about these signs, I'm going back a few points, I guess. But speaking of these signs yeah. that follow, you know, uh, there, was a, there was a family that came to one of our church plants. And they weren't really church people either. But they had a little toddler who, and she, she couldn't eat. She had to be fed through a tube. And, and somehow or another, we were, and during the prayer time, uh, 
you know, uh, I can't remember how it went, but we mentioned about praying for healing and they brought this, they, they just were compelled, even though they weren't really believers, they were compelled to bring this little one forward. And we prayed and anointed this little one with oil and she was healed. She was healed oh, praise God. instantly. And, you know, the joy, the joy. Yeah. And this was a way of sharing the gospel. This was a way of sharing the gospel. We can, we can pray for people that we encounter. The Holy Spirit might prompt us. Uh, he might not give us a word like, you know, like I shared in that earlier story, but he might say, pray for this person. Yeah. Offer to pray for this person. And yeah. the joy, the joy that's, that we cherish those times when God comes through and the good news goes out. And these people realize, hey, there's something in what these people are saying. Absolutely. There is, there's a, there's a there's a truth, a powerful truth in what these people are saying, you know, because Amen. God comes through. Hallelujah. Amen. Crown of joy. I love that crown of joy. I it, I, I know that you know, um, often for many years I go out into the public and we'd look for people who are physically hurting sitting on a bench you could see the sore on their face or mm -hmm. or actually with a physical infirmity and i go out with a team and i'd be training up a team on how to do evangelism uh, in the parks mm -hmm. in uh, places like that and what would happen is um you know we we'd share the good news and we'd pray for them and they would be healed or they'd receive jesus or they get right with the lord oftentimes Amen. they needed to get right with the lord and what would happen is literally it would just like there would be this flood of joy and that's this mm -hmm. crown we're talking about it yeah. it's in heaven that we were yes absolutely but here in the now you will feel Amen. that joy and people who are sad people who are are dealing uh, with depression or the enemy's coming at, against you go out and win some souls Amen. Amen. go Hallelujah. get into evan evangelism refresh then you'll get washed with the joy from heaven because the, the kingdom of god is righteousness peace and joy in the Holy Ghost. This is the, the Holy Spirit will bring this insurmountable joy mm -hmm. because the Bible says that all heaven rejoices when one sinner is um, is brought to Jesus, is brought home, is brought into right relationship with the Lord. And it shows up in that instant. Yes. You can have an expectation of supernatural joy hitting not only that person, but also you. You're gonna get splashed with it. It's going to attach itself to you and you can become a joyful believer and sharer of the gospel. You know, free Amen. people Amen. have a whole lot of joy. Free people look at life through the lens of Jesus Christ and see, there's another one to be saved. Amen. There's someone else I can help. There's something I can do today to make a difference. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. You get wow. fired up. You get fired oh, up. Oh man. Just um just just going over my notes and and some of the things I have on on evangelism uh from uh, mighty men and women of God that I've been trained and taught over the years about and through um I tell you the the hunger to evangelize, the hunger to reach the lost has uh, exponentially increased even now, and I love it. I love what God is doing. Amen. But you know, there's so many things that uh, we can talk about. And uh, uh, we want to pray for you mm -hmm. um, before we go. But I do, I do want to uh, just show you a quick video because we're going to watch the video, but then we're going to come back and we're going to pray for you. And we're going to continue this broadcast again. We're going to have a part two of this broadcast on evangelism for you but we want you to um i mean even catching these few points that we have put out there um god wants you to um just be transformed by his love just wants you to um be put on fire to win the lost Amen. and Amen. to touch people's lives. And we want to pray that for you mm -hmm. when we get back. So let's just watch this really short clip about Amen. an upcoming event. And we'll just do that right now.
Wow, these women that were coming online, these women of courage, God's Women of Courage is going to be amazing. And it's going to be starting June 25th, and it'll be once a month through the summer, and we'll see how far we'll go. We might be adding more people, more speakers as we go, because this is powerful. These women have testimonies that will blow your socks off. Let me tell you, it's Amen. amazing what God has done through these women of God. Some of them are apostles, some are prophets, some are evangelists, some are pastors, some are teachers, and some are even businesswomen that um, they're in business, they're making a difference in the world, and uh, they have testimonies of what Jesus has done in their life. Praise God. Praise Hallelujah. God. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So at this time, um, Prophet Dwayne, can I get you to pray for these people that the fire of God would mm. come upon them? Hallelujah, Hallelujah, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Lord, in the name of Jesus, touch every listener. Draw every listener, Lord, that no one will stay away from hearing these words that needs to hear these words, Lord, and that the evil will not be able to, to hold them back. In Jesus' name, we pray, Holy Spirit, send them forth in fire. Fill them with fire. Father God, fill them with the Holy Spirit and with fire to go forth, Lord, with a with a holy urgency to share the good news of Jesus and to win the loss for Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, encourage them, Lord, that they have this fire, Lord God, that it's not just for the apostle or prophet or pastor or evangelist in the pulpit, but Lord, it's for all believers, all believers. Jesus said, those who believe these signs shall follow them and accompany them. That those who believe, and Lord, let, let faith rise in their hearts right now. Let expectancy and joy rise in the heart of every listener, Lord God. So Lord, we give our lives to you anew and afresh. We we dedicate ourselves to, to sharing the good news of the kingdom and know the kingdom's going to spread. I believe the kingdom's going to spread because of this time. The kingdom's going to spread because you listened. You, do, you listeners, you listened and you took in and you acted and you obeyed and the Holy Spirit fired you up and prompted you and you're going to go forth and the kingdom of God is going to grow because of this time. In Jesus' name, we're speaking by faith. Hallelujah. Father, in Jesus' name, from the top of their head to the soles of their feet, Lord, yes. Lord touch your people right now touch and, and draw souls to you. Draw souls. Put them in situations where they're going to share and they're going to pray. And, Father, that you are going to give the words and you are going to give the increase. Lord, we pray increase in the name of Jesus in your kingdom. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Bless you, Lord. Take away all fear. Take away all doubt and confusion. In the name of Jesus, we stand against it. But, Lord, we just receive what you have for us and the power that you have for us, for every single one of us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to God. That's a awesome, awesome. Listen, catch the fire, guys. Catch mm -hmm. the fire. God wants you as a fully lit flame for Amen. his glory, his honor, and his mm -hmm. praise. Amen. So, at, you know what? At this time, we're going to do a part two on this because there's so much more about why we need to do this. And mm -hmm. I know it'll fire you up. And sometimes we do need firing up. Amen. Sometimes Amen. we need to say, mm, I need more of what Jesus has for me. Um, and I know that this will help you or help even your Bible study. If you have people in a Bible study, take some notes. Share these truths with them. Um, Take these notes and put them in your group. My goodness. Share the word of truth so that other people will catch the fire too. Amen. 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 Well, I always like to leave opportunity to sow into our ministry. Uh, we're a growing ministry and we're uh, worldwide uh, across Canada, but also all around the world. And uh, we just want to find ways to help you to partner with us. And you can partner with us by prayer, but you also can partner with us by sowing a seed. And I'm just putting this up here for you today. This is Crystal Waters International Ministries and you can donate through PayPal. Uh, you don't need to have a PayPal account, but you can go to apostle.denise.adams at gmail.com. Or if you're in Canada, you can go to denise at crystalwaters.ca and it goes into Crystal Waters International Ministries. And if you're in Canada, you can get a taxable receipt at the end of the year. And the reason why I show this to you is a lot of people don't know how to get there. And uh, let me uh, just do one more thing that I've put in place here for you that if you would like to um, just scan the QR code up the right hand corner, that will take you directly to our PayPal account so that you can sow a seed into our ministry. Uh, I'm excited about that because we need to have a way
ways to help people get connected uh, to make a difference. And I know so many of you want to make a difference and partner with us. You know, we're getting some special equipment where we can go into any park anywhere and have a sound system that is totally battery operated. We do not need power from any outside source. We can go, we can share the good news. We're getting out of the church setting. We're getting Amen. out of the house, so to Jesus. speak, and we're going to the highways Amen. and the byways. Oh, yeah. And we need a way to do it that is with love, not aggression, with gentleness, with joy, with peace, with uh, ways that we can communicate in safe, safe circumstances to help people because we know there's a ton of fear out there, but mm -hmm. we need to reach the people. It's, it's now, guys. It's now time for us to uh, reach the lost. So thank oh, you yeah. for joining us today. Listen, we'll be back. And um, I know that after this broadcast will be a Father's Day message, but then we'll continue on with this message. And I'm excited uh, to have you back. And you can check us out on YouTube, on Facebook, and on our podcast. Um, and it'll be awesome. So thank Amen. you for joining us today. God Amen. bless thank you. Jesus. And uh, we'll talk soon. Thank you, Lord. Amen.